Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bahashem, Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled All Things Through Yahusha. My source is youtube.com, and this video is entitled The Incredible Ibex Defies Gravity and Climbs a Dam. And the series this video came from is called Forces of Nature with Brian Cox. The rock that was used to build this dam contains essential minerals that have been dissolved in water. Minerals rich in the calcium that these animals need to stay strong. And they'll scale a dam to get them. Now, Akium, look at the height of this dam. Look at it. In a situation of extreme, diciamo così, di rapidità, the possibility di leccare del sale è una tentazione fortissima. Without these salts and minerals, their bones won't grow, their nervous systems and muscles can't function. Movement and coordination can falter. Io ho abbastanza paura quando sono in, in situazioni molto ripide e, e guardo verso il basso, eh? non sono di certo uno stambecco. There's a strong bond between mother and kid, and the kid will follow her wherever she goes. Look at this Akium. Look at the height. Look how far these ibex has scaled this dam. Okay. So the the inspiration um, for this video is going into our faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. Okay. So when we're going through certain obstacles and afflictions, tribulations, so on and so forth, all right, with Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, we can get through all things, okay? And this is living proof. And imagine, um, Lord willing, we are the hopeful elect, that spiritual power we will, we will receive. Because at this time frame, we have a form of spiritual power, Okay, beginning with this truth. Okay, everything is spiritual, then eventually it manifests on earth. Remarkable, man. The Ibex eventually make it to the prize.
salt from the earth, dissolved in water, continues on its journey into their bodies. Where it's used in the nerves and muscles that control dexterous pincer-like hooves. Look how fast it's going down this dam. Vital ingredients carried around by a simple molecule with remarkable properties. Hey, hey, <laughs> call Halayim Yahweh by Shem Yahshai by Shem Rakakwadash. Let's get into some precepts. Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Mashiach, which strengthened me. And that's point blank period. Okay. So the reason why we can do all things through Mashiach, which is Yahweh Shai, is because we get that strength from Yahweh Shai. However, it starts with the faith and fear in Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. All right. And these two major ingredients are characteristics of the elect, men that Yahweh has cherry picked for Yahweh for Yahweh Shai. Isaiah 54 and 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And that's literal. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. All right. So it's nothing anyone can do to stop the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Not from a physical standpoint, not from a verbal standpoint. This is the heritage of the servants, the prophets, the men of the Lord, of the Lord Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord Yahweh. Okay, and that's point blank period. All right. The Most High will protect his own. Okay, and this is one thing you can be assured of. All right. Matthew 17 and 20. And Yahweh Shai, you know what? Let's start at verse 18. Matthew 17 and 18. And Yahweh Shai rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Yahweh Shai apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed. Now, if you research a mustard seed, it's an extremely small seed. However, once it comes to its full essence, it becomes a large, remarkable size. OK, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Why? Because of your faith. Going into Philippians 4 and 13, I can do all things through Mashiach, which strengthen me. Another precept keeps coming to mind is, I want to say, Colossians 3 and 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to the Most High and the Father by Him. That's that package deal, okay? 
Back into Matthew 24. So like it, Matthew 17. And 20. Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Lord, willingness was an edifying lesson. Shalom.